Greetings. I hope you're doing great wherever you are, whenever you are watching this video. So I'm here sitting at a Love's up in uh, Wisconsin and I decided, I was thinking five pros and five cons of working at Hirschback. And I was thinking, let's do a video about this so I can educate someone or try to help someone who's trying to make a decision. So let's get right into it. Um, I would say my five pros and cons, right? The first pro, it's kind of a mixture of the, where my truck is governed at. We're governed at 68 miles per hour. Um, also, the equipment, it's a newer truck, right? You get your TV, you get your refrigerator, you got your APU, and that keeps you warm in the winter time, keeps you cool in the summertime without running the engine, in case someone didn't know what that is. You have an inverter where you can plug in your electronics to charge or if you need an instant pot or a slow cooker or anything like that. So I'll put that all under the, com the, the equipment. So that's one, right? Sometimes you see some trucks out there, they're governed at 65 miles per hour and you can go 68 and get past them instead of um, just logging behind. Some companies govern their trucks at 62 miles per hour. Um, you know, so I kind of like that. That's that's kind of a pro. Um, you know, having the fridge and all, the TV and all that in the truck without having to buy it to yourself and get it installed. I really like that. So I would say that's a pro. Uh, let's get a con there. One of the cons of working at Hirschback is getting a trainer whenever you get to there, get your CDL program. Now, Hirschback has been doing this train to get your CDL program uh, a little bit up to two years. So they got some things to work on over at that side of it. Um, so sometimes you might have a little wait time to get your trainer. So, you know, I would say get ahead of it while you're in orientation or in training. Once they give you a number for a trainer, you know, call that person. Try to see if it's a match, if you guys will get along. Because um, I don't think they have, like, trainers just sitting around waiting for a student. All right? That's a con. Another pro is the camera. I always say this. They have driver-facing camera and they have forward-facing camera. This can help you in case of an accident to show that you did everything right on the inside even if your truck is parked and someone hit your truck those uh, forward facing cameras pops on and it could help to capture who hit your truck in case somebody bounced your truck and tried to drive away if you were in the shower so that's a, that's a pro for me um, the camera can be good and it can be bad but it will work in your favor um, a con the camera it can be a con. You're driving down the road. You have your headset on. You're having a conversation with your family. It might be a private conversation. And sometimes in the back of your head, you know, subconscious, you're like, oh my God, is somebody listening what I'm about to say? This is might a bit personal. And you might want to pull over to make that phone call. Um, in that sense of it, I can see. I'd be naive to tell you, oh, the camera, this, that, that. No, it can be a con. Um, sometimes you want to have a private conversation. Um, it's not always recording video and audio. But in case of an uh, incident or an event, um, you stab on your brake or, you know what I mean, you short brake too hard or you run over a line, it can start to record the audio. So sometimes that can be a con. Um, another pro, home time. Here at Hirschback, I never have a problem with getting home when I wanted to. Um, other companies I've heard driver talk about trying to get home and dispatcher have you like up north when they know you're trying to get south and you put in your home time for a period of time. I always get home whenever I want to, so that's a pro for me. A con, the terminals. I personally wish the terminals were bigger. I wish the terminals had like a, a, a 24-hour restaurant. Where let's say as a driver you come in and Hirschback if you're watching this video. Let's say as a driver you come into the terminal 11 or 12 o'clock at night. It would be nice to have some form of, you know, even if it's just a deli where you can grab a sandwich, a nice sandwich or something on property. So I don't know if they're working on that. 
um, faster repair. You want to get in the shop, um, you know, if the terminals are bigger, which means the garages, the workshops are bigger, you could get your truck repair a lot faster. That's what I would wish, um, I would love to see. I, uh, in East Dubuque, they pretty much get you done pretty fast, but sometimes you might get there and there might be a long line of trucks ahead of you. Um, I would suggest that you um, try to call ahead and make an appointment so they'll open a slot for you and you could um, get there and get your truck work on. Also, the nap rooms, I wish the nap rooms were bigger and have like an actual bed. It's still comfortable. They have a big, uh, a big, uh, what will you call those? Recliners or sofa where, you know, where the feed comes out. You could lay back, watch some TV in it. But I guess it's called a nap room for a reason. But let's say you're there overnight. You know, you want to get a comfortable sleep in the room. You want to get out the truck. Or if your truck is being repaired in the shop. Um, down in East Dubuque, they have a Best Western. I know Hirschbach has a... They have a contract with those people. So they're pretty good about getting you a room there for the night if your truck is being worked on and you're unable to sleep in the truck for the night. But um, yeah, bigger nap rooms, man. Um, another con is the power of the night dispatch and the weekend dispatch but especially the night dispatch i realize in the day my dispatch manager is on duty my dispatch manager has a lot of power to get things done a lot faster uh the night dispatch they will tell you um okay you might want to wait until your dispatcher coming in the morning and have them take care of this or that issue sometimes i see that happening and I'm like, damn, I wish the night crew had as much power as the guys in the morning. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, so that's it for my other con. Um, let's go for a pro. The pay. I think Hirschbach has a good pay system set up. Um, if you're in a dedicated, they have a dedicated minimum that you get pay. If you're teaming, the teaming is where it's at if you want to make maximum dollars. Um, their lease program, you could make good money too. Um, I always say with the lease, just know what you're getting into. Um, the pay isn't bad. Um, for drivers just getting their CDL, um, they have a program set up where you can go straight into teaming if you have a teammate. Um, I've heard of people making really good money on the team. So that's another uh, pro for me. Um, another pro is the fueling aspect of it. At Hirschback, you can fuel at any Loves, Pilot, TA, that's a travel agency, um, Flying J, any of the major truck stops. Um, I spoke to a few drivers out here and they told me, oh, my company don't let me fuel at Loves. They don't have any contract with, man, being with a mega carrier like Hirschback, it's important that you can fuel at any of these major trucking um, truck stop outlets. Also, if you're a lease operator, they have a 99 cents per gallon fueling. And I think that is a big, big pro. You know what I mean? So those are a couple pros and a couple cons. It's not always as smooth as, you know, I'm a, I'm a positive driver. So sometimes people might say, oh, you're so positive, like everything is great at Hirschback every day. Just like any companies, you're going to have your challenges. There's going to be some up days. There are going to be some down days. There are going to be hiccups and there are going to be hurdles. Um, try to find someone to talk to if you have a problem and navigate through it and get the problem solved. A lot of times we give up too easy. We get frustrated. Um, you know what I mean? If you have any questions, hey, drop a comment in the comment section. Drop a like. Um, Help this channel to grow. Thank you so much. We're on our way to 1,000. Those are my five pros and cons.